everyone just a uh, quick shot of the stiffening capacitor that I have on the DC input of the pulse width modulator circuit and the transient suppression that I've added to the MOSFET down below here this is a 1N5625 clamping, clamping rectifier from the drain to ground with the cathode on the drain that clamps any negative spikes being generated by the back EMF of any inductance that are being driven by the MOSFET. For the positive spikes there's a series 1N5625 I don't know how well you can see that. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay you can see it soldered. It is in series with the drain and then it goes to a 150 ohm 2 watt carbon composition resistor to ground which has in parallel with it a polystyrene capacitor 0.1 microfarads at 600 volts and 100 microfarads at 50 volts so that the DC average DC volt uh, current or DC voltage will rise this is so that the average DC voltage level will rise to a point just above where we want the transient voltage suppression the positive transient voltage suppression rectifier to clip any positive transients the 0.1 microfarad polystyrene capacitor uh, enhances the high frequency bleed off of the uh, transients to ground so that's the transient suppression network that I've got on the on the on the MOSFET right now. Um, I have to replace this one. This is number two out of three. Hopefully, I don't kill the third one. And uh, I will be more careful next time with the uh, amount of current that I'm pumping into the cell. Just a word to the wise. If you're using any kind of solid state device to drive current into a cell, know what the brute force current will be at the voltage you intend to drive into it first. Had I known that I was exceeding the pulse current of 500 amps, I probably would have weakened the electrolyte <laughs> before starting this experiment. So I'm sure it would have survived. Uh, the electrolyte concentration was uh, strong enough for a series cell, way too strong for a parallel cell being driven by 12 volts. So there you have it. Uh, the work continues.